Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless you. Hey, it's that time again. We need you to subscribe to the IUIC Phoenix YouTube page, all right? So make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. We need your help. Shalom. Lily, and Nelly. My name's Elkanah. I'm teaching brother, brother Trey our true identity according to the Bible. I know y'all got questions, right? Y'all wanna know what we doing? What are these? What are these black guys and this? What are these black guys doing up here in purple garments reading the Bible? I know it's a spectacle. Thou art and holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself. Above all people, now we're equal to. Above all people, now we're beneath. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Oh, that's right. Good Did you ask? Can you read John three sixteen? John three sixteen. How did I Bring know? it out. I swear. It's a basic verse. I know. Bring it out. The ark and holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people now we're equal to above all people now we're beneath above all people that are upon the face of the earth so moses is speaking to the children of israel telling because moses went and spoke to god y'all know the history moses went up to mount sinai 40 days 40 nights speaking to god and moses came back with a message to the children of israel he said, hey, y'all are above all nations on the face of the earth, above all people, and God has chosen you to be a special people unto himself. Talking to us, my brother, Brother Trey, Brother Trey, Joel 2.27. He wasn't talking to everybody. I know we've learned that in religion. God chose everybody. Join hand in hand, kumbaya. Jesus loves everybody. But did not God kill the Egyptians right. for the Israelites? Right. Did not God destroy the Babylonians for the Israelites? The Assyrians for the Israelites? Well, did he not command Israel to destroy the Amalekites and kill people from the land of Canaan? Well, well how does God love everybody then if he tells his people to go slaughter other nations? Where's the love at? Bring it out. Where's the love for all nations there? You know where the love for all nations came in? Y'all want to know? Teach up. The love for all nations started to trickle in in slavery. Get up. Right. That's when the love for all nations came in. You know why the love for all nations came in? Because they told us not to read the Bible. We couldn't understand the Bible. We couldn't read and write. So guess what? We learned the Bible from them, and they wanted us to know we going to get the kingdom just like y'all. Even though we killing you, we robbing you, we stole you, we sold you, Rick. we raped you. And that servant, which knew his Lord's will, which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. Did you hear that? Stripes. That nigga that don't obey his Lord, that's his master, do you see? That there nigga shall be beaten with many stripes. Now many signifies a great many. 40, 100, 150 lashes. That's scripture. Hey, child. But well, we get in the kingdom just like y'all. Y'all better believe it. That's when the love of all nations came in through slavery, through religion, through man made religion. But God is waking us up to the truth in these last days. That's, that's, right. that's right. The day of the Geechee is done. The lies are done. That's the truth. Right. It's being manifested in these last days. 
This is the true gospel that shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth. Then the end shall come. Then the end shall come. Christianity right. been here. Catholicism been here. Islam been here. But y'all ain't never heard of Israel, right? Did you know that you was Israel? You ain't never heard that. Why? Why is that? Uh, Psalm 83. Teach him up. Teach him up. Why is that, Brother Trey? Hey, hey, Lily and Nelly, did y'all hear about Israel? Did y'all ever hear that before? Y'all heard about Israel? Did y'all ever hear who the Israelites are today? Who are they today? Israel and Palestine, right? That's who we've been taught. The Israelis in Palestine, those are the real Israelites. That's where everybody in the world believes. This is my walk. Everybody in the world believes, but who are, who are the blacks that came over here on the boats by millions? Who were they before we were called African-Americans? Who were the natives before they were called Aztecs and killed by the millions through diseases, right. through biological warfare? Right. Who was their identity? Who were they? Nobody knows, but God is exposing who, who they were. They're the biblical Israelites. Right. I see them out there. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Bring it out. Verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted it against the hidden one. So this is King David praying to God. He said, the other nations have taken crafty counsel against your people. Who's God's people, uh, Lily? Israel. Nelly, do you agree? Israel. Those are God's people. Israel. Who's God's people, uh, Trey? Israel. So the other nations, hold on, I'm going to answer your question. The other nations have taken crafty counsel against God's people. Every nation outside of this, these tribes have came together and said, how are we going to destroy those people? How are we going to destroy those people of God? Yeah! How are we oh. going to destroy God's people? Right? Bring it out. They said that. Bring. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Let us cut them off from being a nation. Let's separate the blacks from the Hispanics. Let's put the natives on reservations. Let's put the Dominicans and Haitians on the same island, but separate them so they don't know they brothers. Let's separate them and cut them off from being a nation. That's right. Great. That the name of Israel. That the name of what? That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So the whole crafty council was that we, as God's people, would no longer remember that we are the Israelites. Right. And that's, that's right. when Kumbaya, uh, Mary had a, a baby virgin Jesus, and he came and died for everybody. That came into slavery. That came into account in slavery. Right. That's when they destroyed us and cut us off from being a, a nation. Revelations 2 and 9 now. Yes, sir. Revelations 2 and 9. Yeah. They wanted to cut us off and the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. But we know that we are the Israelites in these last days. Yeah, right. that's right. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 2 and verse 9. Know. I know thy works and thy tribulations. So this is Christ talking to the real Jews in this time. The real Jews are black, always been black. Right. Christ is a black man and right. he's talking to them. He said, I know thy works and tribulation. Who's in tribulation and poverty in these last days? Is it those Jews in Israel? Are they in poverty? Some people in Palestine are. Well, let's say as a whole. Because I know Oprah Winfrey, she black and she got money. But does that mean the black community is, is prosperous in America? No. Is the black community prosperous in America? No. Yeah. Is the Hispanic community prosperous here in America? Yeah. No. They don't even want the Hispanics here in America. Right. Hey, I, I still go to work. What's, uh, I, I ain't gonna say where I work at, but I still hear people complaining about Hispanics coming here to Arizona when this land used to be theirs first. Right. Yeah. This land belonged to the Hispanics first. And you got the nations complaining about a people that were here first coming in illegal. That's Where's right. the hypocrisy in that? Right. So who's the people in poverty? It's us, my brother Trey. It is us, right? 
But they are rich. But we are rich because the kingdom of God belongs to us. That's right. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Hold on, I want Lily and Nelly to hear this. Brother Trey, pay attention. This is Christ speaking. Read that again. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Who is calling themselves Jews today? Live in Israel, claim to be the people of the motherland, and occupying Israel today. Who was that? Nelly, you're on. Lily, Lily, Nelly, you're on. I know it's Lily. Who's occupying Israel today and calling themselves Jews today? I'm sorry? A lot of people? Who live in the land of Israel today? Lily? Right, but who, who lives in Israel today and call themselves Jews? Would you have looked at him, this brother right here, and say, oh, he probably calls himself a Jew? Would you have looked at him and thought that? No. Would you have looked at Trey and said, hey, Trey may, he may think he's a Jew and he's the people of God. Would you have looked at him and thought that? Probably not. But. If I wear a yarmulke and I have piggy tails going down the side of my face, what would you think? And I had tzitzis around me. What would you think I would call myself? Bring it out. I don't, I don't judge hold on, hold on. We're not judging. Because if I had a police suit, what would you think I was? Right. A police officer. Yeah. If I was a fireman, what would you think I was? Or if I had a fireman outfit, what would you think I was? A fireman, right? So there's a particular people wearing yarmulkes having piggy tails, walking around with big beards, calling themselves Jews That's today. Right. Is Russia. that not correct? Yes or no? Yes. Trey, you, you, you with us? I believe. Right. So there's people calling themselves Jews today. Now read that again. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Uh -huh. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Those occupying Israel today took the identity and the land of the real Jews, say they are Jews, read, and are not. Hold on, what did it say? And are not. And what did it say? And are not. Uh. But, the, but the synagogue of Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan, and they are not the real Jews. That's right. Thus saith the Lord in That's the Bible. That's right. saith God in the Bible. Trey, are you with me? Do you understand what just get, just what was brought out just now? So the people that they thought was the real Jews, and maybe you thought, Christ just said they are not the real Jews. They are the synagogue of Satan, and they do lie. So what happened to our identity? What happened to the real people of that land? What happened to the real Jews of the Bible? Where yeah. did they go if there's imposters in the land lying about the being the real Jews? Teach us. Where are the real Jews at? What well, we're telling you today, we are the real Jews. That's right. The black men in America are from the tribe of Judah. The black men in Jamaica are from the tribe of Benjamin. The black man in Haiti is from the tribe of Levi. Right. We are the real Jews in these last days. That's We've right. always been the real Jews. But we are waking up and God is revealing who we are in these last days. Does that make sense? Question. I asked for you to read a verse. Is that allowed? No, that's fine. What question? Did you ask, can you read John 3.16? John 3.16. How did I Break know? it out! I swear. It's a basic verse. I know. Break it no, out! I swear I knew she was going to pull that. Hey. Break wait, it wait, out! Do we have a sign? So she want John 3.16. You know why she want John 3.16? That is the most known most popular scripture in the whole planet. Bring it out. You know why that's the most popular scripture in the whole planet? Because right here, they knew that was the one scripture that they could manipulate to make all men think God came for all men. Right. That's the that's number one right. manipulated scripture in the planet. We're going to read it. We're going to read it. Christ was a black man from the tribe of that's Judah. Right. That's right. No, no, no. It's important. That's important. Because if I ask you, if I ask you who is your dad, and I give you the false 
image of your father, would you be upset? I say, Nelly, your dad is a six foot two black man. Would you be okay with that? Yes or no? He could not, he couldn't be. Would you be upset with that? Yes. So that's why I start off with the image. Hold on, hold on. But that's why I start off with the image, because it's important. Because my king's image has been distorted right. and changed right. and lied about. Right. So well, I have to right. represent for the true Christ of the Bible. Right. Right. Christ to us is the son of God that came down to the earth through a man's seed and to his mother, came out and died for his people, the nation of Israel. Right. That's right. Christ, Christ is a Jew from the tribe of Judah, from the nation of Israel, that died for the real Jews, which is my people. My people, what you got? What you, oh yeah, we're gonna read that. What do you, I don't, I don't know, I don't care about like, what he looks like. God does. Well, listen, listen. God cares. What, do you, what, is, what is his character like to you? What have you experienced about Jesus Christ's character? Right. right, so I'm gonna answer her question and then I'm gonna get to your question with a scripture, all right? John 3, 16. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring. This is the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. Bring it out. For God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not die, but shall have everlasting life. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. So John 3, 16 says, so God so loved the That's world. God so loved, hey, it's the world now. He loved the world. John 17 and 9. Let's keep it, let's keep it in the news. Hey, we read in John 3, 16, the most famous scripture on the planet. And this scripture, most people think, when it says the world, it's talking about everybody. Right. We're going to show you that world, because in the Bible, there's different meanings of the word worlds. Yes, I'm going to show you that. Do you believe that all scripture is God's yeah, word? All scripture is divine and inspired by God, yes. Then you only believe God. No, I believe the whole Bible. I believe that verse, yes. But I'm gonna explain that verse to y'all. To, right. to, to see if you really believe it. Right. Read. This is the book of John, chapter 17 and verse nine. Yeah. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Hold up. Wait a minute. Teacher. We may have a contradiction in the Bible or does man's understanding of this Bible contradict the Bible? Right. Uh -oh. Uh oh. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Hebrew 1 and 2, so we can get the understanding no. that there's different meaning of worlds in the Bible. Bring right. it out. We just showing and exposing that Satan and his children have manipulated this Bible to deceive the whole world. That's oh, right. Great. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 1 and verse 2. Bring it out. Have in these last days spoken unto us his son, whom he have appointed the heirs of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. He made the what? He made the worlds. And spell that. He made the worlds. W O R L D S. The worlds. World. He created his son and ordained him that he created the worlds. The worlds. So, which worlds is it talking about? Because Christ said, I pray for them, but I pray not for the world. But John 3 16 said, For God, the world. He loved the world. First John 2.15, let's show some more contradiction in that understanding of John 3.16 that Nelly and Mil uh, Lily and Nelly have. And maybe maybe Trey, what is your name again, brother? Trey. Trey. Maybe Trey might have that understanding as well. Read. This is the book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 15. Right. Right. Love not the world. Whoa, hold on. Lily and Nelly, the Bible said love not the world. But John 3, 16 said, for God so loved the world. Right? Neither the things that are in the world. So he said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world and love not the world. So which world did God so love? Right. Isaiah 45 Bring and 17. It Bring it out. We gonna show you the world. Isaiah 45 and 17. Cause Christ, he created different worlds. God said, I love not the world, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. But in John 3, 16, he said, I so love the world. So there's different worlds there. We're going to see which world he loved. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45 
and verse 17. Bring it up. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. The topic is Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, where my people come from, shall be saved in the Lord uh -huh. with an everlasting salvation. With an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. What is Israel? World without end. What is Israel? World without end. So under John 3.16, for God so loved the world, he was referring to Israel as the world. It has an everlasting salvation, a world. Israel is the world without end. John 18 and 20. Bring it out. Is that making sense? I know y'all seem confused. But, it, but does it make sense or not? Because if it doesn't make sense, you have to explain why God said, love not the world, and, and, and. He's not talking about different worlds, he's talking about the flesh. And we're not supposed to. So he loves the flesh in John 3, 16. Listen, no. He's, explain that. He's talking about how he literally came so that every single person can. He's talking about how he came so every, I want to repeat it so everybody can hear it. He literally came so that every single person had the chance to say yes. Okay, explain and, the scripture. And so that in that scripture he's literally talking about that we are supposed to hate evil, hate the world, which means that anything of the world, temptation that Satan is trying to work for his for his good, that we are supposed to hate it. We're supposed to hate the, the world. Really, what, what are you trying to like? You're fighting. No, 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 no. I want to hear you understand it. Don't get, don't try to psychoanalyze me. I know. Just give trying, me your understanding. What are you trying? Like Jesus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before hold on, you get into all those emotions, uh, yeah. Nelly. No, I Nelly, hold on. I, 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 I want you to explain John 3.16, Nelly. That he loved the entire world. So he loved the entire world. Yeah. Now in John 17, or uh, 1 John 2.15, when he says, love not the world, are those the same worlds he's talking about? He so he loves the world, but he don't want us to love what he loves. But he loves the flesh of the world. Yeah. 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 Who's the kingdom for? The kingdom right, so that's a whole other topic for Israel. But when it says love, he loves not the world, it's talking about the flesh. Okay, so he's talking about this world that Satan controls. But what about the world he loves in John 3.16? He's outside of space and time. Do you understand that? He literally... You understand my question? Our, it's beyond our understanding. It's beyond our understanding now. That's what a Christian pastor would give. And that's that's right. why he don't have the answer. Right. It's beyond our understanding, but we're reading scriptures to give the understanding. Right. You just don't want to right. accept it. So you don't really believe what John 3.16 says. Right. Wait. This is the book of St. John, chapter 18 and verse 20. Bring it out. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I spake openly to the world. Who did Christ go teach when he walked the earth? Everybody. Not everybody. Rick. I ever taught in the synagogue. Who 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 dwells in the synagogues? Pharisees. What nation do they come from? Yeah, but what nation do they come they from? No, that, yes, they did. The Romans actually killed them. Well, they condemned them. So it's a difference. They, now, they, they were who dwelt? On his earth right, they, con they condemned them. They the Roman the army earth. killed they, them. The Romans didn't actually, literally, Pontius Pilate didn't even want it. Right, but they did it anyways. Yeah, because but he did it anyways, right? He didn't have to, but he did it anyway. So what? That blood is on, on on the Romans, and, that's right? right? So now check this out. Let's not, Nelly, die. Lily. Let's they not go guilty. around. Let's not go around the question. All right. The Who dwells in the synagogues? Was all nations? Were the Romans in the synagogues learning? Hold on, hold on. Was the Romans in the synagogues learning from Jesus? No, it's not. They weren't. They weren't. Read. Come on, read from the top. This is the book of John, chapter 18 and verse 20. Bring it out. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whether the Jews always resort. Whether who? Whether the Jews always resort. Whether who? 
whether the Jews always resort. The Jews are being referred to as the world he openly spoke to. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Family.